Hey there guys, welcome to another Aaron's China Guide. And today we're gonna eat dumplings or jiaozi. Okay, where are we? We are in the shopping bar district. And this is where we came. Uh, what did I eat here? Oh yeah, that egg and tomato soup that I showed you. It's a big, big pedestrian street area over here. Oh yeah, I also did the Guo Chao Mi Shen video here too. That's it. <coughs> um, so anyways, I just realized that I hadn't done one of my favorite meals. Which is dumplings or jiaozi. So, you may have tried dumplings in the west, right? A lot of countries have their own take on dumplings, like the uh, Ukrainians have the um, pierogies, right? And there's many different kinds of fillings you can have in dumplings. You can have Okay, and now where was I? Oh yeah, you can have nyoro, which is beef. You can have churro, which is chicken. You can have churro, which is pork. That's probably the most <coughs> common type of dumpling filling, churro. Uh, so veggies, you can get chosai. Chosai are Chinese chives. Or... Leaf. Sometimes they're called leaf. You can get bai tai, which is the Cantonese bok choy. Pretty common. You can get chin tai, which is Chinese celery. And you can get fan she, which is tomato. So a whole bunch of different dumpling fillings that you can get. You can uh, experiment yourself try different uh, try different fillings and just see which ones you like the best me personally I like uh, Jiro Jo Tai which is pork and Chinese chive dumplings so I'm gonna go to the restaurant and I'm gonna order two different kinds now an order is called a fen okay yi fen so if you want an order of dumplings, you can say Wo Yao Yi Fen Jiaozi. And uh, if you want two different kinds, like for example, let's see, if I wanted to order one order of beef and tomato, one order of pork, and uh, bok choy dumplings, I would say Wo Yao Yi Fen. Yoro, Fanche Chaoza, Hayo, Yifen, Churo, Bai Tai, Chaoza. So, you can say Hayo, which means in addition to. In addition to. If you want to order more than one thing, you can just say, Wo Yao, De, De, Jiga, blah, 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 Hayo, blah, 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 Hayo, blah, blah, blah. Know, if you want to order three things that's basically the language pattern that you would use uh, very close to Chinese New Year Chinese New Year is uh, gonna be this Saturday this Saturday will be the first year of Chinese New Year so see all those red lanterns up there pretty okay so I think that's uh, that's a long enough intro for this video Let's go get our jiaozi or dumplings. Alright, so this is our sauce uh, made of vinegar and uh, chili peppers. I would highly recommend you add chili peppers to the sauce because uh, everything tastes better spicy in my opinion. This place also had the garlic too, so I added a bit of garlic to my sauce. 
Uh, now I'm just opening up the dumplings so you guys can get a look inside. So let's just take a peek. You can see inside this is a pork and it looks like a jiao cai, one of Chinese chives. So those are pork and chive dumplings. You can see on the right side of the screen there, there's the sauces, your hot sauce and your vinegar. And then you just dip it in and eat it. Absolutely delicious. Uh, again, one of my favorite uh, meals to eat in China is dumplings. Very easy to eat with chopsticks and, uh, and very cheap. Delicious as usual. It has nice light display here. Yeah. Pretty cool. And over here, all these pretty lights. Red, like I said, everything's red up for the upcoming uh, year of the rooster. <coughs> or Jinian, as they would say. So the dumplings were 12, 12 for 12. So about a, one RMB for dumpling. I did order two separate kinds of dumplings. I ordered six uh, uh, juro josai and six juro chin tai. So pork and uh, leek dumplings and pork and celery dumplings. But they mixed them all together on the plate. Uh, and yeah, dumplings are an absolutely delicious snack, highly recommended. I think most foreigners would like dumplings. And what else? Oh, yeah, this is the this is the last episode of the month. And uh, I'll be going to Qingdao for 8 or 9 days, so uh, this episode will get uploaded this weekend. Now, the following weekend I'll still be in Qingdao, so the episode won't get uploaded till the following Wednesday or Thursday. So it'll be a few days later than usual, but then uh, start again. The, the I'll upload another food video the following Sunday. So you won't get one for a while, and then you'll get two in uh, four days. So I'll make up for it. Uh, all this construction and lights. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that chicken there. 2017. Like a chicken. Here. <coughs> well, nice flowers. Wouldn't see flowers in Canada in uh, January. Maybe in Vancouver. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a couple food videos in Qingdao and upload them after I get back. So, I'll, I'll do the usual beer drinking to the Patreons for this month, and uh, thanks for watching guys, okay, bye bye. Alright, so we're going to do our end of the month Patreon thank yous, um, let's see, what beer is this, Ebertsberg, German beer, it's a German wheat beer, German beer is very easy to find in China, you can find it, uh, everywhere. It's probably most common beer you can find here. I mean, you can get like Budweiser, you know, that American beer, it's pretty common. But uh, there, there's a lot of German beers here. Lots, lots. Let's just pour a glass. So we got six, six Patreons this month. 
Okay, my uh, my family members, Ken, Shelley, Lauren, and Shauna Sawich. Hey, thank you for the support. And Nick, Bobby, and Mawa eighty six, another China vlogger, does very good videos. So, to all you six, I'd like to say thank you for your for uh, giving your uh, money to support my videos and a happy Chinese uh, New Year, Year of the Rooster. Very nice day here in uh, Chongqing. Nice, nice clear day. Nice clear day. Let's just get a nice full, uh, full glass there. I know it's a lot of foam, but it's better that than nothing. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to go to uh, flying to Qingdao tomorrow actually, and uh, I'm going to shoot two food videos there. Like I said, you won't get another food video now until February 8th or 9th, I think that's when I'll be back. And then like I said, I'll upload another video again on the following Sunday, and I'll be back to the... Uh, be back to uh, putting one out every weekend so it's a little bit of a little bit of a break I'm looking forward to going to Qingdao and trying the local food there okay so let's drink cheers Nice. <laughs> Happy Chinese New Year.